Hi everyone, my name is Brittany and I am a family nurse practitioner and I'm also an NP instructor here at SMMP Reviews. Today we're going to review a topic that can affect many of our patients, metabolic syndrome. In this video, we're going to cover a few of the basics, but if you'd like to learn more about this topic, make sure to check out our review courses that are linked within the description. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe so that you can continue to stay up to date on our latest YouTube videos. So first, let's define what metabolic syndrome is. Metabolic syndrome is not actually a singular diagnosis, but it's a group of conditions that can increase an individual's risk for cardiovascular diseases like stroke or myocardial infarction. This is really important considering that heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States. Metabolic syndrome can also increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. Sometimes these disease processes cannot be avoided due to genetics, but it is our responsibility as healthcare clinicians to educate our patients about modifiable risk factors and help them understand how they can take control of their health. According to the National Cholesterol Education Program's Adult Treatment Panel 3 report, or the ATP3, there are five criteria for diagnosis of metabolic syndrome. But an important thing to remember is that only three of the five need to be present for diagnosis. These criteria include increased waist circumference, so that's anything greater than or equal to 40 inches in men and greater than or equal to 35 inches in women, blood pressure, so anything greater than or equal to 130 over 85, elevated fasting glucose, so that's anything greater than or equal to 100, elevated triglyceride levels, so that's anything greater than or equal to 150, and a low HDL level, so that's anything less than 40 in men and less than 50 in women. And I want to note here that treatment for any of these conditions meets the criteria as well. So the good news here is that the risk of metabolic syndrome can be reduced significantly by making lifestyle changes. These lifestyle changes can include stress management, getting good quality sleep, and smoking cessation. Regular physical activity is an important piece of this puzzle as well. Current recommendations are that adults get 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity each week, including muscle strengthening activity at least twice a week. Incorporating healthy foods in the diet is another important piece for reducing the risk of metabolic syndrome. A healthy diet should emphasize whole foods, fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins, and limit saturated or trans fats and any refined sugars and sodium. A modest weight loss of 5 to 10% body weight can also make a big difference. All of these lifestyle modifications play a vital role in prevention of metabolic syndrome and improving cardiovascular risk. If lifestyle modifications are not sufficient enough, we can treat the patient with any of the first-line medications for these conditions leading to metabolic syndrome. For hypertension, we can use angiotensin-converting enzyme or ACE inhibitors. We can also use angiotensin-2 receptor blockers, ARBs, calcium channel blockers, or thiazide diuretics. We can initiate statin therapy to help lower overall cholesterol or something like phenofibrate or tricor to help lower the triglycerides specifically. Medications for blood glucose are typically initiated after diagnosis of diabetes. However, those with insulin resistance may benefit from starting metformin or glumetza. Metabolic syndrome and the risks associated with it can be controlled through good education, encouragement, and empowering our patients to take charge of their preventative health practices. I hope this video helps you understand the basics of metabolic syndrome. If you're interested in learning more about other endocrine or cardiovascular conditions, or looking for more information about how to pass your upcoming board exam, check out our review courses. We also have a free community of students who are preparing for exams just like you. Be sure to join our Facebook group that is linked in the description. Here are the references for this video.
and definitely check out our other videos. With the right preparation, you can absolutely pass your boards and become the real deal. We are all rooting for you here at SMMP Reviews.